Hi there. Throughout this session, we will discuss very important topic inside SharePoint framework called it property pane. After you deploy your web part to your work page under localhost and this port 4321, you will see that screen. If you click and edit the web part, you will find here some property. And here is the question from where I can control those property as well. How can I change the default value out of this? Here you got description field and that one have a text box have some value called it second web part. And that one is going to be reflected here inside your web part. So if I change it, this one, for example, my description for property pin here you can find that one is updated directly to the web part let's have a look by navigating back to my visual code and out of here you need to go to your source folder and to your web part folder and go to the web part dedicated for that one my web part name called it second web part if i open second web part dot ts here if i scroll down i can find here a method called it get property pane configuration and that one extending an interface called it i property pane configuration here you can find that method return group or collection of pages but right now we have a single page each page inside your sharepoint portal will have a header and groups right now we have inside our header we have only description of type string as well we have only one group and that group just have only one field and the string or the property responsible for that called the description so if i come back again here i have only text box it's called the description so whenever I'm gonna type here anything, it's gonna be directly reflected to that one. So we need to find where is this description. If I scroll up inside the web part file, I can find here an interface with the name of my web part and that one have only one field called the description of type string. Later on, I can definitely add more fields. Not only that, if you scroll up again, you can find two modules has been imported. The first one called it I property bane configuration and the second one have a name property bane text field. And both of them has been imported from Microsoft backslash SP hyphen property pane. Let's have a look about where exactly this default value coming from. So here, if I come back again to my Chrome and I will try to delete this web part and click on this plus button. And from here, I'm gonna choose second web part. And from here, edit, I can find it have a default value called it second web part. From where exactly inside my visual code this value has come from. Please navigate back to your visual code. And from there, you have a folder for localization. It's called it LOC we have the default one called it english us.js as we can see here property pane description with the name description basic group name with the name of group name and description field label with description field so for example if we try to update those values by giving spfx description and this group we will name it darwish group and that one gonna be spfx description tutorial and save that file and i will navigate back to my chrome here is it inside that one i will try to edit this one one more time you can find those values has been updated spfx description and here darwish group and here is that spfx description tutorial but what about this value inside this text box 
if you want to know from where I can read this value wait till the next session